Hello mga ka -check! Welcome again to my YouTube channel, Karen Pod, and to all my subscribers, thank you so much for all the love and support. And if you are first time here, please like and subscribe also. I hope you enjoy this video. And for this video, we will be going to RAF Museum here in Cusport. See you later. Bye! Finally, we are arriving now at RAF Museum or the Royal Air Force Museum here in Cosford. I am very excited for this visit or tour here at RAF Museum in Cosford because it is the home for over 75 historic aircraft including the world's oldest Spitfire and even the mighty Vulcan Bomber so exciting to discover a world-class collection of aircraft and artifacts displayed inside three wartime hangars and within the award-winning national cold war exhibition welcome to the museum Check! are you excited sure this museum is open daily from 10 a.m to 4 p.m the admission to the museum is free and car parking charges may apply so if you want to know the fees for the car park you may visit the royal air force museum website this visitor center which is a glass fronted building which also offers views over the airfield is the main entrance of the whole museum and when you pass through this main building you will be welcomed with huge array of aircrafts that are being displayed all over the grounds of the RAF Museum. The aircrafts that we are seeing right now is actually a transport and communication aircrafts used for moving troops and equipment. We will be seeing different training aircrafts also on this ground but most are concentrated in Hangar 1 which we will be visiting later. An example of a transportation and communication aircraft here is the de Havilland Devon C2-2A. Another interesting aircraft that we've seen in RAF is the PBY-6A Catalina. It is an amphibian aircraft and was used during the Second World War and helped sinking a number of German submarines. And today, a small number of civilian Catalinas are used as transports and firefighting aircraft. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, very interesting planes. True. Yes. Yeah, it's a very good content from RAF Museum. <laughs> and good content for both of us. <laughs> So this is the direction of our tour today. We will start from RAF stories the first hundred years and then we'll go right away to the test flight, then war in the air and then the National Cold War exhibition and then the Hangar 1. Now let's start with the RAF stories the first hundred years room. This room displays the history of the RAF through the use of personal stories and a collection of previously unseen artifacts. It has also been carefully designed to offer a compelling snapshot of the RAF's principal roles which is prepare, attack, defend, and support. Now we are here in the test flight category room and as we all know for every inventions of aircraft there should be a great deal of trial and error. So here in this area you will see the aircraft that were built to test a new theory or line of research as there was no computers and sophisticated simulators before highly skilled pilots had to test to fly the fly this aircraft there were a lot of risks often with tragic results but eventually led to well-known successes like hunter victor vulcan and lightning
for the Meteor F8 that's the position of the pilot inside this aircraft. The highlight aircraft for this exhibit for me is the Bristol 188 built mainly of stainless steel and designed to investigate the effects of heat on aircraft structures at very high speeds. Part of the exciting experience here at Test Flight Display is for you to experience to sit in the pilot's cockpit and you can pretend here that you're the pilot, push all the buttons, click all the switches and pull and push the lever like a pilot. Definitely my inner kid is very happy. <laughs> Now we are in our third stage of our tour, the War in the Air collection of which fighters and bombers are here displayed and at the home of what is believed to be the world's oldest supermarine Spitfire MK-1. The highlight aircrafts in this War in the Air collections were the Spitfire, Hurricane, Gladiator and Defiance which are face to face with their German rivals during the Second World War. Hurricane was the main aircraft of RAF Fighter Command Squadrons during the Battle of Britain and it was popular aircraft with its pilots who found that its high maneuverability and rugged constructions combined to make it very effective. Savage during the World War II. The Spitfire, as I said earlier, is the most famous British fighter aircraft in history. It won immortal fame during the summer months of 1940 by helping to defeat the German air attacks during the Battle of Britain. This aircraft is really massive. As you can see, I really look so tiny next to it.
just next to war in the air display is the hangar one which also offers a huge uh, varieties of aircrafts used for transportation and communication you can also see different types of engines for aircraft here and different types of missiles used during the war unfortunately i wasn't able to check and video one by one the aircrafts because my battery was already dying but i had a small video clips of the room so you can enjoy it now welcome to the national cold war exhibition and be amazed to this place to the different aircrafts missiles and a lot of wow factor with eye-catching architecture and design we will discover Cold War stories here and explore exciting displays of aircraft, iconic cars like the BMW by Mr. Bean and the Beatles as well, models, tanks, and even life-size Russian dolls. Aircraft not to be missed include all three British V bombers, Vulcan, Victor, and Valiant, and the English Electric Lightning suspended vertically, which I just showed as a welcome slide in this chapter of my vlog i am already at the end of my vlog and one thing that i can say is that i am really happy that we came here and explore raf museum because it made me aware the stories of the past wars world war ii and cold war and knowing it i feel grateful to the peace we are experiencing now it's also amazing how our past heroes inventors and scientists were able to develop these wow things in the past so kudos to all of them really